When you hear the word venomous, what do you think of? Probably something like snakes, spiders, or even lizards. But if I told you that there are mammals that, are, that have a deadly bite or elbows, we'll talk about that later. You'd probably be like, what? Well, none of them are lethal to humans, as far as we know. But take extreme caution because they can be extremely dangerous. But before we get into that, we have a free giveaway of some Niffler plush dolls from Fantastic Beasts. All you need to do to receive one for Christmas is subscribe to the Silver Howler, like the video or videos, leave a comment below, and click on the bell icon. And you can be one of the lucky people to win a Niffler plush doll. The deal ends December 20th. Also, I will be releasing three videos a week on Monday, Wednesday, and Saturday. Now back to the seven venomous mammals. Number one, the platypus. As you may know, the platypus has barbs on its back feet. They are used for fighting off other males during mating season. They can also use them to stun the females if they are running or trying to get away from them. A side note is that the females don't have barbs on their back legs. It's amazing at how such a cute creature, whether baby or adult, can be so harmful and aggressive. People who have been stung by these mammals say that it hurts immensely, but it's not going to be lethal, it's not going to kill you, unless you're allergic to their sting. But I don't think that any of those have been recorded. Number two, the shrew. Yes. Shrews are venomous, but not all shrews. The American short-tailed shrew, Eurasian water shrew, Mediterranean water shrew, and northern short-tailed shrew are venomous, but not deadly. What does their bite do, you may ask? Well, they use it for prey that would be difficult to catch or impossible to hunt, and it stuns or paralyzes them until they eat it. The creatures they catch are still alive and kept in storage for the winter months and other times of the year when it may be hard to find food. Number three, the Solenodon. With a very similar resemblance in appearance to the shrews, these creatures are located in both Cuba and Hispaniola, or the Caribbean island of Haiti and Dominican Republic. There are two different subspecies, the Cuban and the Hispaniolan Solenodon. Neither of them are immune to their own venom, and many have died from bite wounds after fighting each other. Number four, the mole. Not all moles are venomous, but one that is, is the European mole. It is one of many moles that is known to bear venom in its bite. They are similar to our friends the shrews. They bite their victims and drag them down to a cold, dark grave and sit in paralysis, especially in the winter, until their death comes by being eaten alive. Isn't that lovely? Number five, the slow loris. These creatures have a very unique way of exposing their venom. As I said in the introduction, this is the creature that releases venom from its elbows. There are glands at the bend of their arms that it can release the awful substance. It can do it at will, and it brings that goo or the stuff that it releases, the venom, to its mouth to bite any creature that the loris feels threatened by. It acts as a cat allergen, and there are a few species of animal that are allergic to it. Number six, vampire bats. No, they're not vampires. You're probably thinking, what? That couldn't be, right? Well, it is, but it doesn't work how you think. The venom of the vampire bat is not deadly at all, but it could cause death over time if you don't treat the bite. The toxic saliva stops your blood from coagulation so it keeps dripping or even running depending on the size of the bite. For the bat, it makes it easier to eat or drink, drink and eat, and much easier to digest. Last but not least, the hedgehog. What? The hedgehog? They're in the pet stores for sale. How can they be on the venomous mammal list? Well, there's a special reason why they are on 
No, they are not naturally venomous, but they have a brain to be. You're probably confused right now, but I'll explain. These little spike balls have been known to find dead or kill venomous animals like poisonous toads, chew on their skin and rub it on their spines as defense from other predators. They are little warriors, if you ask me. I hope you have enjoyed this video about the seven venomous mammals that you may not have known. This is the Silver Howler signing out. May nature always be on your side and have a great day.